Hey guys, I'm Summer Dawn, and today I have a really nice hip stretch for you to stretch out everything surrounding your hip. External rotators, adductors, abductors, and your hip flexors. And so the way we're gonna do it is by engaging some specific muscle groups to keep from overstretching. We're also gonna have a really nice prop. There are times and places for doing stretches where we are relaxing everything and doing more of a yin yoga type posture. But this posture is something that you can do right after you lift, right after you squat, uh, to really get into your hips and be able to keep everything engaged and prevent injury. So. Uh, go ahead and grab a prop. What you need is probably like two blankets, fluffy towels, or maybe you already have a big pillow. And what we're going to do, I have two blankets here that are unfolded, and I'm just going to roll them up long ways so that I have a little cylinder here. And it can be as big or as small as you want, and you'll see in a moment uh, kind of how big or small you'll want it for you yourself specifically. <clears throat> We're going to do a pigeon pose, and I think many of you might already know what a pigeon pose is, and I'll go ahead and show you right here. Take one foot in front of the bolster, and then you're going to walk it over towards the other side. So I have my right foot, and I walked it over to the left, keeping my shin parallel to the bolster or to your yoga mat if you have one. You're going to lay your calf down so that it's touching the bolster. Now, your front foot is completely flexed. I'm going to show you from the front angle here that your front foot is completely flexed here. So the toes are moving back towards the knee. And the reason why you're keeping the foot activated here is because you're aligning all the myofascial tissue in your knee. The second you let your foot just relax completely, the second you put your knee at risk for injury. So make sure you flex those toes back towards the knee and then you're going to scoot your back leg. So in this case, my left leg is scooting back and I'm going to rest the middle of my thigh onto this bolster. Now this one's pretty low, but I have fairly open hips, so that's okay. If your hips are super tight and you're feeling like you're up here, make sure you get a pillow or something extra to support your bottom right here. Again, right foot is still super, super flexed and just look behind you at your back toes and make sure they're not sickling in. So if your toes are turning in, try and straighten them out by putting the pinky side of your toe down to the floor. Once you're there, you can take one hand to knee, one hand to foot, and sit up nice and tall. So you're feeling it here on the left hip flexor, and then we have our, our adductors on the inner right thigh, and then we're getting all into the outside of the right hip right here. And you can hold this for a minute, maybe two minutes. And if you really want to get into the outside of the hip, then you're going to fold down, either coming to forearms or reaching all the way down. And so you got to kind of decide what you want. The higher up you are, the more you're getting into the hip flexor. The lower down you are, the more you're getting into the external rotators. And so you'll hang out here for a little while. I think I'll do about three more breaths. And again, the right foot is staying engaged and you're not just letting yourself fall all over the place here. You're keeping the foot engaged. You're keeping your pelvic region pulled up and in. So you can kind of think of it like a Kegel. You gotta pull everything up and in. Belly is still engaged so that you are not just completely letting go and putting your connective tissue at risk. Good. From here, to get out, I like to roll over to the side of the leg that's bent. So I'm rolling over to my right side, coming onto my bottom, and then swinging the back leg around. And then we'll do the other side. So we'll go ahead and switch. And your sides might be uneven. You might need a little more support from one side to the other. So this side's tighter for me, so I can grab maybe an extra pillow. I have an extra pillow. I'll put this right here because I already know the side's tighter. Again, you take front foot forward and you walk it over to the opposite side. Flex your foot so toes are moving towards your knee. And then lay your leg down in line with the bolster or the top of your yoga mat. From here, make sure that you have enough support. 
And again, if your shin isn't perfectly parallel to the top of the mat, it's not the end of the world, but you really want to shoot for that parallel uh, shin to top of the mat. And then from here, I'll check in with my back foot. My toes are facing inward, so I want to look at it and try and align my toes so that they're coming directly out of the hip here, and then wrap that hip forward so that I'm not just sitting on my left butt cheek because this is not doing anything for me. Wrap the hip forward, and again, everything is pulled up and in, belly pulled in, and I can stay sitting up here to get both into my external rotators as well as my hip flexor, or I can fold down either to forearms or lay all the way down to get into my outer left hip. Again, foot is still actively flexed. If you want to play with muscle engagement here just to see kind of how your body is working, what's sore, you can always flex your back leg, lifting the back knee. It always strengthens the back side of the body. Or you can release the knee down to the floor. That's just something to play with. And so again, you'll hold this pose maybe for one minute, maybe for two. But since it is an active pose, you're keeping everything engaged, and you don't want to hold it for too long. That's uh, holding poses longer is more of a yin yoga practice, so where we're not holding muscles engaged. Good, so from here, walk the hands back up, roll over to the left side, swing the back leg around, and you are done. You have just stretched out your hips with a little bit of muscle engagement, keeping your knees nice and safe. I'll see you next time.